Sorry for the lack of uh, setting up footage, it's uh, coming down. It's uh, supposed to be snowing right now, hence me rushing out today, but uh, it's a bit more rainy and sleety. There's some snow, but I think it's come above um, zero now, so it's just not really settling. But we have got some coming in the night as well, so we'll see. It's going to be quite wet, so if that freezes and the uh, snow goes on top of it, we might have some by morning. Um, yeah, need to get my sleep system set up. Got a stove with me as well. No walking in shots today. I just need to adjust my ground sheet here because some of it's too close to the edge over here where there's a small gap. The more it rains, the less hopeful I am for snow. <laughs> but uh, it should be fun regardless, even if it's just a, a wet night. I've got to uh, make my way up to the uh, wood store in this now, um, just to get a bit of wood for the stove, because I'm going to need quite a bit tonight. Getting a bit warm in this. <laughs> like I said, it's only about zero, one degree, something like that. So it's not super cold yet, and I've been doing quite a lot of work. Here's my wood pile all prepped. Just a little bit of kindling to do inside the tent here now. Rain seems to have calmed down a little bit.
there's a little gap in the rain so I'm just going to wander down to the stream and uh, see how that's going with all of this heavy rain. I've got to go through like a ford to get out of this area so I may as well keep an eye on that. <laughs> It's actually not too bad down here at the moment. I think it's receded because we had a few days of rain and it's, it's not really rained too much today. It's only been for a couple of hours. So this will probably still go up a bit, but uh, I can see where it has flooded this week. You can see things like the wild garlic and stuff starting to come through down here. Spring is on its way. Well, there's a couple of um, oaks come down recently here and the uh, bark is really coming off easily. So might do a shelter using the, um, the oak bark for the roof, if I can find enough of it. There's a load on the floor here as well. come over and have a look at the uh, one day shelter build I did still up for the time being if you saw that video it was a silent video because it was a hell of a lot of work to get done in one day these short winter days as well so yeah I was happy with it it wasn't raining that night and I knew that or suspected that and uh, if it was I would have needed to put a lot more sort of brush and leaves on the back like an arm deep at least but um you know, it retained the heat with what it did have, the insulation from the uh, fire I did. But uh, gonna take this down very soon, put it back to nature and uh, probably do something else. But uh, it was a good exercise. It was a nice tree for Joe. A lot of people said about this being dodgy. When I was laying down, I wasn't under this oak and it's hooked up on like five points. I put a lot of weight on it and it just didn't budge. Well, saying that anyway, it is actually very dry under here. <laughs> this is pretty dry, this is dry. So I think you'd be all right because the rain's been pretty heavy. I suppose it depends on how long it goes on for. It's hard to tell with this, um, all this water dripping from the trees. There's a lot of noise around, but I'm sure I can hear something over there. I don't think there was anything. <laughs> I had a little look but uh, I couldn't see anything. I think it's just the kind of ambient noises around. Got the trickle of the stream in the background and all the drips coming down from the trees. Thought it might be a deer or something. No such luck. For those of you who don't watch the review channel, I've um, recently reviewed a, um, a trail camera, a new trail camera. And I didn't catch too much on it, but uh, I got a rather amusing deer with uh, a nice haircut on it. I'll uh, fling a picture up of it. <laughs> so yeah, that was a treat. Right, just heading back to camp now. For those of you that have some interest in filming, I've been trying out this for over the camera. I've got the uh, clamp on the one of the legs of the tripod, and uh, this has got a bendy bit, and it's like a pram umbrella or sunshade. Seems to work. It's a bit rickety. <laughs> it allowed me to get a couple of shots of setting up 
that I wouldn't have been able to in that heavy rain otherwise. So yeah, a pram umbrella. And in an emergency, you can attach it to your hat. I've got myself some birch bark, but I've got fire lighters with me anyway, but uh, it's good to save them if you can. It's been nice having a, a wander around the woodland here, just into dusk now, just reacquainting myself with it, <laughs> looking out for potential spots and uh, materials and stuff. So I've got all my kindling ready, my firewood ready, I think I'm going to get this going because the temperature is dropping and getting a bit nippy and uh, retreat to the tent here. Get the sleep system out at some point as well. I'm going to see if the heat dries this ground mat up a bit first. So it got quite wet when I was setting up. Avalanche! <laughs> Some of this in there. Bit of birch bark here. Make sure that's going. Come on. I'm just going to start putting the kindling on top. This is my secret weapon tonight. I had one of them compressed fibre blocks in the uh, stove bag. So um, I'll try that when I go to bed. Might burn a bit longer than just the logs on their own. had a whole herd of deer go past, about 100 metres that way. It was too dark and uh, too far for the camera though, <laughs> and I had to open the zip and get out and there was no chance I was going to catch up with them. <laughs> I knew they were about though. It's definitely getting cold now. I'm hopeful for that snow. <laughs> We've not had any for two years now. I've got this piece of beef here. So I'm going to cut it into chunks, make a bit of a stew. It's quite lean for a stew, but it'll be alright.
Okay. Okay, that should do. I've got a bag of flour here, so I'm just going to coat this meat. So it browns off nicely and uh, thickens the stew. Check this is hot enough, there's some oil in the Dutch oven. Just about. A bit of browning on the meat now so I'm just going to start adding in some onion. I'm going to go in with the other veg, with potatoes and carrots. Got some stock cube broken up. Bit of water. And a bit of beer too. I'm just going to put the lid on it. It's going to take some time. It's already smelling lovely. Gonna take a while yet though. It'd be rude not to finish the beer. <laughs> Had this going for a little while now and it's on the boil. I'm pretty hungry actually, I've just got some lentils to put in it, but it's a very comfortable temperature in here, which means it is cold outside. <laughs> I've not looked out to see if uh, I've got any uh, snow yet, but uh, if this on pretty much full whack is comfortable in here, I know it's cold out there. I did open the vent at the top, just mainly because I opened the uh, port on the stove to get some proper heat on that Dutch oven because it's on the legs brought that one because the legs are not as long as the ones on the other Dutch oven that I have. Ah, 
Nice chilled one though, considering like I last minute dashed out really. <laughs> I was meant to be filming something else today. I was meant to be making my shave horse. So uh, that should be with us soon. I'll uh, get out and do that. But yeah, just going to enjoy this one I think. Pretty good to me. This looks good. Check that meat out. Well, that's perfect. Not really seeing any of them lentils, though. That was good. I think I've had three helpings. Pretty enough for at least one or two more. <laughs> Needed more potatoes to be honest. Oh, it's so cozy in here. It really is so warm. It's a good size this tent and a good height, so it holds that heat well. Plus, you know, it's that thick and reflective material. Oh, I've got a full belly. I've got a beer. I think I'm gonna chill for a bit. <laughs> Given the ground sheet here, just a wipe down with a camp towel. That I always have just a microfiber one. Can't recommend these enough. Got a foil mat, my Trekology sleep mat, and uh, my Leviathan OEX sleeping bag, which is a great sleeping bag for winter, it really is. So give that some time to loft. I don't usually set up my sleep system this late, but uh, yeah, I had a bit of mess in here, let's say, <laughs> doing everything else. So we're all set up. Uh, I think I'm on a slight incline, so I may have to stuff my uh, sit pad and other bits under this side just to level out a bit, but that's not unusual. <laughs> well, it's about nine o'clock at the moment. Uh, I've just popped outside the tent and it is snowing. <laughs> There's a few flurries. I don't think it's going to amount to much, but if it does all night, we can but hope. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the uh, stove at the moment, watching the flames. It's quite chilled. It's um, chilly, even in here at the moment, because I've had the door open. So I think it said it was about minus four tonight. So yeah, quite a cold one. Keep this fire going all night, I think. <laughs>
Good morning. Well, as you can see, no snow, unfortunately. It was worth a shot. Probably my one chance this, this winter. We'll see. But it is a nice sunny morning. Now the sun's coming up. Oh, I had the stove going till two, three in the morning, not sure. I had quite an early night for me and uh, where I'd wake up every hour or so, probably because it was getting colder, I'd throw another log on until I couldn't be bothered anymore and just settled down properly. <laughs> but uh, got some good sleep. It was a nice peaceful night. Could just hear the stream because of all the rain earlier. That was quite nice. Oh, but yeah, I think I'm going to make a, a little bit of breakfast. I've got some smoked bacon here from uh, Richard Outdoors. I'll link him below, another YouTuber. But this stuff's lovely. Cheers, Richard. Mm. Something about this bacon reminds me of childhood. Maybe before stuff was too processed. Oh, it's lovely though. My third day on the trot eating this. Well, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed that one. I know there was no kind of shelter building or woodcrafts or anything, but uh, I was hoping for snow. <laughs> I'll probably get home and there'll be some now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.